Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? T7's as loyal as they come, and you should address my fellow Jedi by her name. No offense intended. I stopped listening to names after I heard yours. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. Are you sure there isn't more? I could have T7 clean your laundry, or read you bedtime stories. I make my own bedtime stories, Gorgeous. Play your cards right, I'll make yours too. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. So far, so good. And now that we're a team, figure it's only a matter of time before the whole galaxy gets saved. Not too early for vacation planning, Gorgeous. Old Doc's ready to whisk you away someplace special when this war's over. When the Sith Empire is defeated, I'll go wherever the Jedi Council assigns me. Sure. Eventually. But until then, the stars are wide open. Working too hard is bad for you. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Don't make me confine you to bed rest, beautiful. Unless you want me to. I can take care of myself. Focus your attention elsewhere. If you don't want my services, why'd you bring me on board? Have it your way. I'll reserve my special care for somebody who'll appreciate it. Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the outer rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Colto might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. I take it you didn't start your career on Balmora? Born on Raltier. Graduated Coruscant University. Highest honors. I could have gone home. Had a safe medical practice and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality health care to their planets? In my experience, helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. Not everyone needs a laser sword and mind tricks to get out of a tight spot. You wouldn't be here if I didn't respect your skills. You got the Force, I bring the finesse. If I were you, I wouldn't leave the ship without me. I need the Jedi Council's hollow frequency. Old Doc's gonna have a chat with your bosses. This code you people follow has you wrapped up tighter than the Emperor's shorts. It's not healthy. In my professional experience, enjoying life on a regular basis dramatically reduces your chances of falling to the dark side. How exactly would indulging myself lead me away from the dark side? That's like swallowing tiny doses of poison for an extended period. Eventually, you develop a tolerance. I'm glad I'm around to keep things lively. The ship would be way too serious without me. Ah, uh, life of a combat medic. Long hours, grueling work. Patients bleeding all over your nice clothes. I'm not complaining. Nothing beats the look of gratitude from someone whose life you just saved. But my female patients are always developing feelings for me. Some just won't take no for an answer. Perhaps you should limit yourself to only operating on men. A doctor can't pick his patients. It's unethical. Not to mention boring. I figure Jedi have the same problem. You must have admirers lined up from one end of the galaxy to the other. Jedi have no interest in gaining admirers. Or being admired. You don't know what you're missing. Just imagine how popular we'll be after we knock the Sith Empire into a black hole. If I were you, I'd get some extra sleep now. You can get along without me for a bit, right? Need to pop over to Alderaan. Old friend of mine there got kidnapped by gangsters. They'll kill her if I don't deliver the spice they paid me for. You realize selling spice is against the law? What's to stop me from turning you in? They only paid me for spice. Never planned to actually deliver any. A couple of years back, I scammed this gang for a bulk load of credits. Spent everything to set up a refugee hospital on Alderaan. My friend is the head doctor there. Uh, I guess the gangsters finally figured out where all the money went. They're holding your friend hostage until you give them the credits. Or the spice. I'm going undercover for Republic Customs. Once I deliver the spice and free my friend, 
the good guys swoop in. Gangsters go to prison and my friend gets your hospital back. Whole plan's foolproof. Won't take any time at all. This sounds too dangerous for you to handle alone. I should come. Aw, oh, it's sweet, gorgeous. But there are some things a man just has to do for himself. Those gangsters were smarter than I thought. But the Republic hostage negotiators talked him out of killing me. They were really something. I assume the woman you went to save also survived? Old Doc never lets down a lady in distress. My friend got away clean. We never got a chance to catch up, but, uh, hey, that's her on the hollow. Probably wants to say thanks. Hey, pretend you work for me, all right? You look terrific, Prudy. Have you lost weight? Love the new hairstyle. Two years without so much as a hollow, and that's all you can say. You abandoned me at our wedding. Doc, is this woman your wife? We're just good friends. She's a little confused, that's all. I thought you loved me. You said all those wonderful things on Ord Mantel. Prudy, sweetheart. Those were <laughs> sweet nothings. You should never take those at face value. My parents flew all the way from Corson for a wedding that never happened. You loathsome cad. I wish I'd never met you. Whatever happened before, Doc risked his life to save you. I'd never have been kidnapped if it wasn't for him. Look on the bright side, Prudy. You still have that hospital I bought you. The gangsters burned it to the ground. She still loves me. Ugh, those gangsters on Alderaan brought back some great memories. Oh, they used to call me Doc Operator back in the day. I was the go-to guy for everything medical. Trauma kits, surgical droids, hospitals, you name it, and I could get it. One time, this hut was hoarding med packs after a massive ground quake, selling them in an obscene markup. I tricked Mandalorians into attacking his palace. Pitting Mandalorians against a hut? You enjoy living dangerously, Doc. You love that about me. Don't deny it. I forged a death mark signed by the hut against the Mandalorian clan. They, uh, accidentally found it with a little help from yours truly. The Mandalorians attacked the Hut Palace in record time. By sheer coincidence, I was there to sweep in and clear out the Hut's med packs. You did this without either side realizing they'd been manipulated? It helped that they all killed each other. Sometimes things work out. Thanks to an anonymous donor, every hospital in the disaster zone received supplies to treat their patients. Saved thousands of lives. That was small time compared to what we're doing. When we save the galaxy, I'm not staying anonymous. We have got to get off this ship and do something besides beat up bad guys. Don't get me wrong, that's important. But it wouldn't kill us to go out and socialize a bit. I know all the best clubs. I'll show you around, make some introductions. Never know who you might meet. It'll be fun. Lead the way, Doc. Where should we start? Everyone will tell you that Nar is the place to be. But that's just hype. Truth is, hut space is full of boring tourists. If you want real fun, you have to visit the private clubs. They're invitation only. No tourists allowed. Give old Doc some time to work his magic. I'll get us invited to the best club this side of Ord Mantell. Can't believe this. Standards at the Republic Health Administration must be non-existent. I went to medical school with a new acting head. Guy is a moron. Doesn't know a viber scalpel from a field cauterizer. Barely passed his final exams. How is he the top doctor in the Republic? If what you say is true, he shouldn't be allowed to remain in that position. We should contact the authorities. The authorities? Are, uh, the ones who put him in charge. This is what always happens. Real doctors go out and save lives. Idiots stay on Coruscant and get themselves promoted. So what if this guy invented a vaccine for Zabrak scalp necrosis? I could have done it. I was just busy. What is Zabrak scalp necrosis? It sounds bad. Oh, it's just a low-grade flesh-eating virus. Makes Zabrak's horns fall out. Embarrassing, not life-threatening. Tell you this much. Enough's enough. No more Mr. Nice Doc. The galaxy's gonna find out what a real physician looks like. I gotta find a disease to cure. Something really unpleasant. Old Doc's always been more of a lover than a fighter. But I had to up my game since you came around. 
It's not easy looking good when you're fighting next to a Jedi. But I figured out the trick. Care to clue me in before our next big battle? Let's just say I'm getting a new nickname. Dr. Knockout. Yep. Next time we're surrounded by the scum of the galaxy, they're gonna be sorry they met me. I don't believe this! We missed the party of the Millennium last night. It's all over the holonet. Music, dancing, attractive people. Oh, we could have been a part of it if we hadn't been on the wrong side of the galaxy, saving everyone's lives as usual. Two heroes of the Republic would have been colossal at that shindig. Infinite opportunities for romance. We would have had it made. Just think how much more colossal we'll be at these parties once the Empire is defeated. We've already earned more admirers than we'll ever have time for. Anything extra is just wasteful. I'm in the prime of my life, and I'm spending it with people who enjoy running around on exploding planets. All I want is to abuse our fame just for one night. Is that so wrong? It shouldn't be this hard to find a terrible disease I can cure. Ugh, all the good ones are taken. All that's left are embarrassing things, like both and nether rot, or diseases that'll take decades to treat. I don't have that kind of time. There's bound to be something you can cure. Does it have to be a major disease? There are plenty of uncommon ones. You don't understand how medicine works. If no one knows it's a disease, they don't care if you cure it. This won't keep me down. I'll cure an important disease even if I have to create it myself. Say, that's not a bad idea. The galaxy doesn't need any new diseases, Doc. What's the harm? I'd cure it right away. I'm glad you stopped by, but old Doc has thinking to do. You should go meditate, clean your lightsaber and whatever. Oh, old Doc's luck is finally turning around. Got a holocall from this ravishing Rattataki I knew on Hutta. Big opportunity to cure something important. I take it that means you're no longer attempting to create your own disease. Like I always say, a plague in the wild is better than two in the lab. My friend's old employer is a hut cartel boss named Nemro. He's infected with an incurable disease. It's eating him alive. Literally. No one's ever cured what Nemro has. He'll pay top credits to any doctor who can save his life. Ah, this is my big chance. Do you actually have a plan to fight this disease? Turns out, I studied this disease back in medical school. There's an experimental treatment no one's ever been able to try. It's too risky. I figure if there's a safe place to work with toxic chemicals, it's a Jedi starship. I know you don't mind. What exactly are you planning to bring on my ship? The main ingredients are cyanogen, silicate, ardanium, and accelerate. But don't worry, I'm already mixing the solution and we're all still alive. Now give old Doc room to work. I got a date with medical history. The treatment formula's ready. Good thing. Nemro's half the hut he used to be. My friend's on her way to help. How's my hair? These clothes fit all right? Old Doc's gotta look his best for the historical record. I'm sure your old flame will be impressed. Why is she coming here? Hut politics. It's complicated. When I save Nemro's life, the hollow journalists will be all over me. Oh, here she comes. Look at you, gorgeous. Love the new tattoo, huh? Nice gun. Let's get this over with. I don't enjoy playing hostage. Not for you, anyway. I need to make sure Nemro doesn't try to keep me all to himself after I cure him. Huts occasionally confuse gratitude with kidnapping. Nemro's got a soft spot for my friend. I'm paying her to stay here as my hostage while I fly to Hutta. Brilliant, huh? What's the going rate for a professional hostage? She charges by the minute. Worth every credit. Sit tight while I take care of business. I'll be back in no time. Nemro will be healthy as a rancor in a meat factory. Or my name isn't Doc. Jedi standards must be slipping if a worm like Doc qualifies as an ally. Is that any way to talk about an old friend? Especially one who clearly adores you. I'm usually worshipped by men beneath me. Anyway, that's enough polite chit-chat. Is there anything interesting to eat on this rust bucket? I'm famished. I did it! Nemro's gonna live. The disease is cured. He's already regenerated lost tissue and organs. Wonderful news. I can leave. It's been amusing. You're not gonna stay and help us celebrate? Ha. Huh. No. You did a great thing today. You cured an incurable disease. Saved a life. 
Even better, I saved someone famous. That's the kind of story the Journal of Xenomedicine loves. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm putting your name in the special thanks section of my article. At the top, even. This is the worst day of my life. Some idiot bounty hunter killed Nemro the Hutt before the Journal of Xenomedicine could examine him. They can't verify my treatment worked because Nemro's a big messy puddle of goo. There's no proof I saved him. Someone murdered Nemro? That's awful news. Yeah, you're telling me? I staked my whole career on him. My only hope is someone else coming down with the disease so I can cure it again. I'm not holding my breath. The disease is rare. It could be years, decades before I get another shot at it. Another living being is dead, and all you can think about is how it inconveniences you. I thought you were better than this. I thought you were a healer. Was I wrong? Nemro wasn't a nice person, but he didn't deserve vaporizing. I'll send something respectful to his memorial service. You know what? The Journal of Xenomedicine can take a flying leap into a black hole. You know, I'm starting my own blasted journal. I've had enough medical adventures these past few years to fill a library. And I'm telling people all about them. Good. Your knowledge will make the galaxy a better place. And if I get moderately famous in the process, that's all right, too. Publishing a Holonet journal won't be easy. I'm gonna need recorders, edit droids, and a good S-thread broadcaster. That's some serious scratch. I'll have to start charging for my services. You understand. I'm willing to invest in a worthy venture. I'll only need a couple of million credits to get started. See what you can do. Lindley. Oh, she was a sweet girl. Wonder what ever happened to her. Hope she caught that shuttle off Malice there. Probably should have left her some credits. Oh. Hey. Strangest thing. I was chatting with Kira and... I suddenly had this urge to rethink my past relationships. Sounds like you're the victim of a Jedi mind trick, Doc. I'm guessing Kira wanted to get rid of you. What? You mean... Oh, that's dishonest. You people shouldn't do that to your friends. I ought to file a complaint with the Jedi Council. Oh, from now on, I'm keeping my distance from Kira. If she can't play nice with old Doc, well, she won't play at all. This end of the galaxy business we're always mixed up in. Can't last, right? And sooner or later we'll win. Then what? Always been happy to just drift from one system to the next. Settling down is for settlers. The thing is... There's a lot to be said for a home-cooked meal and a warm bed at the end of the day. That sounds like a good life. I think you've earned it, Doc. <clears throat> I'm not talking about me. I'm never leaving. We've got to convince Kira Rusk and the others to retire. They're taking up valuable crew space we could use for more... interesting personalities. We could hire a Zeltron or even a Thielen. Ugh, they're easy on the eyes. This crew could be colossal. Think about it funniest thing. That thrill I used to get from saving a patient? It's gone. Once you're saving the galaxy, nothing else compares. I mean, how many doctors get to say they saved the septillion beings? I'm thinking it's just me. Without your help, the Emperor would have destroyed us all. You're a hero. I've even got the medals to prove it. Point is, if you hadn't taken me along for this ride, I would have missed out. I appreciate that. In fact, I am offering free medical care for you and anyone else you want. Lifetime guarantee. It's very generous, especially considering all the trouble we get in. You're making a big commitment. If I'd thought about that before saying it, probably wouldn't have used the word free. <laughs>